What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to do a review of Google Chrome versus Safari for the iPhone 5. And um, as you can tell I have my OtterBox on here so it looks a lot thicker. But um, So I'm going to start off with showing you um, the stock Safari that comes with the iPhone 5. Um, so when you press the browser it comes up it looks like this. It looks kind of like Safari on um, a Mac but uh, it obviously looks a little bit different. So if you want to go to um, a website, you go up there. If you want to search for something, you press search and it'll use the Google search engine. Um, so let's just go to a website like YouTube.com. And it does not take very long to load. It's pretty dang quick. And um, this pops up my YouTube channel. And um, it's very, very smooth. And what I like about Safari is that the top part actually disappears so it goes in full screen mode as you can see like the address bar and the search bar actually disappear just like that now when you go on to um, Google Chrome and let's go to youtube.com also what's really nice about this is it fills it in for you just like on Google Chrome um, on the computer so once you go into here I'm going to go on to my channel it does not do the same thing. The top bar does not go away like it does on Safari. So it's a much, you get a, uh, people would complain and say that it uh, limits how much you can see on the page. But in all honesty, it doesn't. It gives you exactly the same amount. And just to prove that, um, I'm going to show you this screen right here. It goes down just below that video right there. And um, I will show you when we go into Safari, once we scroll down right when we get past that, look at where it is. It stops just past that video. And that's because this blue bar right here, our selection bar, um, back, forward, and um, you know all those buttons right there, those are there. And that takes up the same amount of space as does this bar right here on Google Chrome. So really that's nothing to complain about. It would be really cool to see that go away though. Then you would really really get full screen view uh, full screen uh, browsing and that would be awesome. So if they could do that then it would make Google Chrome on the iPhone 5 a lot more fun, just a lot better. So on Google Chrome we have there is no forward arrow but there is a back arrow. If you want to go back you can just press that button right there and if you want to go forward you have to um, have gone back so once you go back there appears a forward button once you are as far as you can go there is no forward button unlike on safari when um, you are as far as you can go forward there's still the forward button but it's just not active so on google chrome um, there like on the computer there's always a favorites button which is actually a bookmarks button um, so to get to that really all you have to do is you can just bookmark it right there and it will bookmark it and a really bad thing about this Google Chrome is to get to um, reload a page or um, you know just to reload a page you have to press that button and then press reload unlike on Safari when when you press on Safari it is right there that's very convenient so on Safari we have the bookmarks right there which is very fast to go to and um, you can see all of your history also but when you go onto Google Chrome there is no history you can't view it to get to your history what you have to do is you gotta go to settings and then you have there's your history right there but there you cannot view it you can't view any of your history, which is a really bad thing about it, is you cannot view it, and you can't view your searches either. If I clear that out, I cannot view what I've searched for. But if I go onto Safari, and I go back, I press Done, I can look what I've searched for in this, right there. You know, I can look for that. Um, I can do all kinds of stuff. Um, so, that's just a big difference. So now we're going to look at new tabs. Making a new tab is really, really simple on both internet browsing, um, you know, both internet browsing apps. 
The first one um, I'm going to show you is on Safari. To make a new tab on Safari is very, very quick. All you got to do is you just press this little button down there, then you press new page. They're not even really called tabs, and it brings you straight to that new tab, which is very, very fast, and it's very effective, and it's very, very nice. So you can just scroll right over that, make another one. I'm just going to make five for the sake of the video. And there we go. We've got five tabs that we can just scroll through, and it is very, very nice. And then once we press, press one, let's go back to YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go to Yahoo now. So we're going to go to Yahoo, and we can go back over straight to the uh, YouTube tab. And that's very, very awesome. I love that. It's very quick. Um, it's really nice, and it's really fast, too. So let's say we want we love YouTube so much. We can just save it right to the home page. We can add to home screen. We we'll create a YouTube icon. We can um, mail this. Uh, we can send in a message. Twitter. We can do all kinds of stuff just from that one button. So now let's go over to Google Chrome and look at the tabs bar here. The tabs bar here is awesome too. I really, really love tabs bar here. We can just press new tab, new tab, new tab, new tab. And I now have five of them. Really, all you got to do is you press the tabs bar right there, and it looks just like the one in Safari. Um, it's got these two little, you know, pages, and it looks exactly the same in Google Chrome. So, when, once you're in um, making new tabs, you can cycle through all of them. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And it's just as fast. But on Google Chrome, just like on the computer, when you get on Google Chrome, you can actually see more stuff. Unlike Safari, you can, once you make a new tab, there is this. Uh, on, instead of having just a plain white screen, you can actually scroll over, look at your bookmarks, and look at what other um, computers have been accessed. Um, which is really nice because you can look at the history right here. Well, it's kind of the history, but... Um, it's more of like what uh, the home page was or, you know, kind of like that. It's one is synced. Um, so my, um, my last, the last time my Google Chrome was synced was when I was at school. And um, here it shows up right here on my app on my iPhone, which is really, really nice. Okay, and now the next feature about these, um, t the tabs is this right here. Um, you can actually cycle through tabs just by swiping your finger. And you may think that that be can become a hassle. And if you think that, you're absolutely correct. Because if you are on this right here, if you just made a new tab and you want to scroll to the, um, if you want to scroll to, let's say I want to see my bookmarks. Well, sometimes you accidentally hit over here and it will go there instead of there. That has happened to me several times. But you learn to deal with it, and that's fine. But we want to go back to here, and uh, I can select through my tabs, and it's very fast. And just like on the computer, um, Google Chrome is a very, very fast um, browsing app. Um, it's, a, it's very fast. I think it's actually faster than Safari. Um, I have not done an official test, but I can already tell it's a lot faster than Safari. So another thing about the tabs feature in Google Chrome is you can make what's called an incognito tab. If you go right here, it's called an incognito tab. Incognito tab allows you to um, do private browsing, which means it will um, anything you look at will not be um, in your history. It will not be saved. Um, nothing, there would be no cache, no cookies, there will be nothing left behind. So it will look like you were never there unless um, unless you make a bookmark. You can actually bookmark things. So I'm, I'm in incognito right now, but the bad thing about incognito is if I go into YouTube, we're going to go back over here, and we're going to go to YouTube. See how fast this is? I don't even have to go up to the search bar. I can go to YouTube here, and you'll see that I am actually signed in here, 
but when I go incognito, it has none of my saved cookies or cash. So that's a very, very bad thing about incognito. But um, incognito can also be very beneficial if you are on somebody's computer and you don't want anything saved. You just exit right out and um, let's let's sign in. And I'm going to sign in real quick. Okay, I am about to sign in. And uh, I'm just covering up my personal information so you guys do not see uh, it. Um, as you can see, I do have the box um, that says stay signed in. I have that checked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in. And we are incognito, so none of this will save if it's right. And it, as you can see, it shows that it's... Um, that it is my um, YouTube account. So um, let's say we're at a friend's house and we forget to sign out. This is the really good thing about Incognito is I can get out of there. Now let's make a new Incognito tab. Let's go back to YouTube. Because this is Incognito, nothing saved. It is a really, really great feature that Google has um, put into their um, their web browser and it can also be very bad because you want to um, you sometimes want to you know you want to stay signed in and you want to have your history um, so it could be unfortunate but you never know um, it's kind of pick and choose um, another really bad thing is I know I already said this but there's no history which you really want your history, but um, history does sync up. There is a feature in this app that allows all of your favorites, oh, sorry, your bookmarks, using Internet Explorer terms, um, all of your uh, bookmarks and your history and all your information will actually sync to your Google account on your computer so once you get on Google Chrome on your computer it will automatically have all the information you had on your phone on your computer but the bad thing about incognito is once you get on history well there is really no history um, and once you get on any part of this you can on this app you can't view any of your history which is very bad okay so the last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is Facebook once you get on, let's try, I'm going to go to Safari. Now let's just type in Facebook. As you can tell, Facebook loads right up. I'm not going to let you guys see their names and stuff. But once I go on to Google Chrome on the iPhone, Facebook does not load at all. Maybe this is just my phone, but uh, Facebook does not want to work with Google Chrome and for whatever reason this is it just does not work now maybe you saying I'm spelling that wrong well I have two Facebook tabs and here's another one they it just does not work at all and that is really really bad because I would like to sometimes use Facebook on the internet because sometimes the Facebook app does not work um, so that is my uh, review of Google Chrome versus Safari. Personally, I can't decide which I like better. I really like Chrome. I really like Safari. There's, they both have their ups and downs, but um, I think I, I, I want to give a slight edge to Google Chrome just because I'm very used to it. I've used Google Chrome for a long time, and I have not used Safari for a long time. But I just want to give a slight edge to Google Chrome just because I like Google Chrome and I love its layout. It's simple and it's very effective and fast. Um, so that is it. And thank you guys for watching. And make sure to go on to you go on to um, the description of this video and watch uh, the video of Windows 8 giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway of Windows 8 and. Um, so, yeah, you can win the copy. I have the copy right here. I've got the copy of Windows 8 right in this little thing. And it's I've got the activation code also. So you will receive that. And all you got to do is just watch the video. 
and um, you'll know the rules. So follow me on Twitter at LucasWillis23 to get all your latest tech updates and um, some information on my personal life, which I don't know why you would want that, but uh, <laughs> some people do. So um, I will see you guys in my next video, and um, thank you guys for watching. See you later.